The following scenario is quite typical and I will walk you through the setup. So you have a DMZ interface and behind it you have your web servers. Now you want to create a VIP object, that is a virtual IP object that will allow only users from the US to enter that web server through HTTP and HTTPS only. Another thing, we will create a web, and that is a web application firewall profile for that web server. All right, so to create our setup, we will start by uh, using one of the free interfaces and create the web server DMZ. Let's name our uh, interface web server and the role will be DMZ. We can also use uh, a LAN role, but uh, the thing behind DMZ is that it actually hides different things from the, um, from the outside. One of them is the DHCP server. All right, so let's create the address itself. Let's make it at the 10.0.8 dot one slash 24 and let's only no let's not enable anything on the administrative access let's just use device detection and that's it okay so we have our uh, dmz which is at port 4. the next thing to do is to create a VIP uh, that will allow outside users to get into our web server. Let's just move to policy and object, virtual IP. So let's create a new virtual IP. Let's name it web server. Our interface will be when interface. The external IP will be 82.22.11.23. That's the external IP address of our 48. And the mapped IP address, let's assume that our web server is at the 10.0.8.88. All right. So that's our VIP. The next thing to do is to move to system feature visibility and enable the web application firewall. Let's just apply that. Let's look at it through our security profiles. You can play around with your web profile. You can enable or disable SQL injection, XSS, which is cross-site scripting, buffer overflow, and so on. You can also play around with the HTTP constraints. We will not get into it right now, but know that you can protect your web server from most critical vulnerabilities that there are on the internet. Let's move to our IPv4 policy. Let's create a new policy. Let's name it web server in. All right, the incoming interface is our WAN interface. The outgoing is our web server. That's our DMZ. The source, now we have said that we want to allow access only to US users. So we will need to add up an address that is an address object of type geography so let's just name it us let's choose united states there it is okay and let's just choose that address destination destination is our vip remember we have just created a vip uh, anyone who gets outside with our permission, uh, following our policy and following our address object, which uh, tells us that it's only U.S. residents, um, is the web server. That's our VIP object. In terms of service, since we're dealing with a web server, the only two services that are allowed are HTTP and HTTPS. Now, since we're using a WEF web application proxy, we will need to use the proxy-based inspection mode. And here on our web application firewall, we will use our security profile.
Now, the last thing is to disable net. We don't really need our net since we already have our VIP object, which uh, maps the external IP to the inside private IP.